This tutorial is going to go over how we, uh, uh, what I covered in class the other day, how we take tree blocks from AutoCAD or shrub blocks, export them using the double W block command, and then import them into SketchUp. And once they're in SketchUp, we will select particular components or blocks, which they've been turned into components in SketchUp, and replace them with uh, face me type uh, tree plant tree and plant symbols. So to start, uh, just a little review. What we did uh, previously is we're going to layer isolate what we want in AutoCAD. And in this case, since each of these different trees, we'll start with the trees and I'll do the shrubs. Each of them is a separate block. I don't really care if they're overlapping, so I don't. I can just pick all the trees at one time. So I'm going to choose my layer isolate command. Since they're individual blocks, they will come into SketchUp as individual pieces. So uh, I can take large trees, small trees. I just have to make sure I pick one of each type for each layer. Again, if you get a duplicate, it doesn't matter. So just make sure that you picked one of each. Oh, I didn't I can get these up here. There we go. And I think these are the same, but I'll get one of those and one of these down here. And maybe one of these too. So however many types of trees you have, I'm going to split up that way, hit enter, and there's all my trees. So I'm going to use our W block command, and I will select the objects first. So since I have more, I have both halves here, I'm going to select just the left block. And then I will pick my location. Got this folder here. I already have a tree layer here, so I'll call this trees two and then save that. So we've written that file out. I will layer unisolate, and then I'll do the same thing for the shrubs. Again, I don't really remember how many types I have, but I have them color-coded on different layers. So if I can come in here and <clears throat> pick one of each of these, if I'm not sure if they're different, I'll pick some down here just in case, so they're probably the same. Probably would be easier to hide the hatching to do this just to make sure. Okay, that looks like that should be enough. And that looks pretty good. So again, I have both blocks here. So I will do the W block command, select objects. Now I've broken down my plants pretty finely. You can see I've got different colors. And each of these is an individual block. So if you didn't break it down that finely in your AutoCAD drawing, I'll talk about that when we get in SketchUp. In my case, I can just substitute, I can just reload these all these components and I can have a unique shrub symbol for each one of these different colored shrubs. If you didn't do that, what we probably will do is just load one, reload one of those, make a next one unique, reload that, and just reproduce these rows uh, and arrays basically in SketchUp. So I will click on this, call that shrubs two and save that. Okay, now we can switch back <clears throat> over to SketchUp, and here's my uh, terrain draped on there, and I will just go to the File menu, choose Import, and switch back to AutoCAD Files. And I think that's the folder. So there's my trees too. The one I just did, remember, I'm always going to make sure I preserve drawing origin set so that everything will line up and it doesn't take too long. If I zoom out, you can see they're actually placed down below here. So what I'm going to do is just move that up above so you can see a little better. Now, again, because I have objects in here, it brings all the trees in as a group. But if I open this up, you can see that each of these has a, doesn't have a circular outline, has a square outline, which means it's also a block. And if I select it and do Entity Info, you can see it's actually a component, and there's 10 of these in the model. So if I want to start substituting, let's start with the grove on the hill there. I pick one of these, I right-click, and I just choose the Reload. Well, actually, before I do that, I'm going to get it in order for us to drop these on the landform i am going to explode this once so that they're not inside the group so now i'll pick one of these symbols 
and I will choose reload and I happen to have a folder set up. So when you're making your trees, figure out how many different types of trees you want or need for your city garden model. Make those trees in individual files, start them right at 000, turn them into face me components and then save that component out uh, into a folder. And that way you can always just go right to that folder and I don't know, well, I have a black birch here. I think that's what those are. So I'm just gonna, going to pick that one, click OK. And again, I, I mentioned this in class, because we created these blocks with a scaling factor, you can see they're a little on the big side. So uh, I can fix that pretty easy just by scaling. I'm going to select one. And if I edit this one from the outside of the component, it will just change that one instance. If I open the component, however, you see a couple of things. It's a little offset from the from the center. So again, I'm just going to move that over to the origin. Then what I want to do is choose my scale tool. And you want to scale this in two steps. One, scale it down, just using the center top, and then hold the control key down. And this gives you edge to center. And now we can kind of scale it back in. And I don't really know exactly how big to make it because I don't really have any context here. So I'm gonna take this and get it about that size. And you'll notice that all the other ones that are highlighted in blue have changed as well. So I'm gonna get back outside. And now I'll select these. Again, to select them, instead of trying to do it this way, you might get some of the other blocks. Just tilt your view up, go right across the top from right to left, right click and choose drop. GC. So that just dropped those right down onto my landform. And they're actually not too bad, although they're still probably are a little a little bit high. So now that I have it here, I can go in there, select it, scale. I think it probably needs to come down a little bit more. And in control in a little bit more. And that's, that's looking a little better. And I could always adjust it later if you put some people in there, get a scale. And if some of them, because of that adjustment, whatever, that one looks like it's still kind of floating. You can always pick that, right click, drop. And that seems to be cutting that off there. Actually look a little close to the wall. So I don't know if I had an offset problem, a couple of them do. And this one's in the sidewalk, so again, making sure they're in the right location. If for some reason they're not, uh, and if you have to adjust them, again, I would select them from the top. You can decide, okay, this has to move over this direction a little bit. That looks a little bit better. And the other thing we can do then is just move them up in the air select them, select them again. And once in a while that plugin will miss a couple. So just reselect them, drop them down again. And that looks a little better. Everything's a little more lined up right now. They're not in a perfect grid, but make sure that you get them visually aligned. And now you really start to get the effect of those trees on the grove. Okay, now I'm ready to do the next set. I can go up and pick another set of symbols. This one, right click, reload, and I'll put this one in as a white oak. And again, scale issue here a little bit, so clearly the scaling factor is kind of changing the way these are, but uh, just select it. Choose scale. I think in this case I'm going to leave this offset because that may have been why the other one changed a little bit. Control key, stretch it out from the inside. Exit out. And now I can come over here, select all those. It really is kind of best to just drop them into place. And those still kind of look a little on the tiny side if they're oak trees. So the nice thing is that you can scale one. And because they've had a scale factor applied, they all will be scaled kind of proportionately. So you don't have to worry about readjusting the size or anything. Now what happens here is it's snapping to something on the landform. So again, tilt it up and move it out so you get it the size you want. 
Maybe that looks a little bit better. Might even still be a little tall, but we'll leave it at that for now. Again, knowing what size the trees are and diameter, just keep proportion. The oaks and maples are going to be bigger. The bir black birches are going to be smaller. But again, they're all kind of placed in there. And I think by leaving that without offsetting that axis, these all came down the same place. So for the first try, I would not mess with the origin, just scale it, drop them down on the surface. And now you're starting to get uh, a little bit of a feel for how the plants are going to work on the site. Uh, I mentioned the shrubs. If we import those, zoom out. Now that kind of looks like I missed a few shrubs. Put the shift key down, pull those up. Same process. Explode it to get it down the shrubs. Pick one, reload it. I've got some kind of understory shrub here. And there they go. And they look a little bit big, but I'm going to select all those. Right click. Drop them into place. Again, some of those didn't quite hit, so I could take those. And some of this might be because they're actually kind of hitting each other. So go individually, pick that, drop it down. They may not you know, come down all the way. So in this case, because they're still a little large, so I might even just pick this one up here. And this one actually has a 3D part inside of it. So this is a three-dimensional shrub. So I'm going to scale it down from that way. And I'll scale it in this way. So this isn't probably this is one of the things you can notice. Probably notice that it's already slowing down a little bit because these shrubs are not 2D shrubs, they're actually 3D shrubs which uh, is causing them to work a little more slowly and it causes the drop to work a little bit differently because when it comes down and hits one of those, it's going to stop it. And, you know, you can always manually pick one of these with the move tool, get the blue, hold the shift key down and just drop it into place and make that work. Okay, so again, I picked a 3D symbol so it's making it a little more complicated and slowing things down i don't recommend that but you can see that, that fits in and fills up that space pretty nicely uh, i thought i had one in here that was well here's and that's actually 3d2 let's try this one Okay, so that's a 2D version of that shrub, much more efficient. Drop them down. And they actually look pretty good at the size they're at. And deselect those and you can see when it, you know, the 3D shrubs do look a little bit better. And if you're definitely doing kind of a bird's eye view, they're gonna fill in, whereas these are gonna look a little bit thin. But from eye level view, uh, they're going to work much more efficiently. And we've got so many shrubs here that, uh, and, you know, these are barely touching. And this is where you could also come in and then apply a different ground cover texture underneath of it. So we start, we, we kind of get the effect of having some ground cover and the plants over top of it, and that fills in that color a little bit. Okay, so that's the process. You just W block the plant symbols out of AutoCAD, bring them in the same way, import. And then once you get them in here, explode the overall group, but don't explode the inner components. You just want to right click, choose reload, pick a shrub and click open. And that will just simply replace all the, the instances of that 
component with the new symbol. And in a few minutes, you've got all the 3D-like plants populating your, your site. And uh, you just have to make some scale adjustments because of the scale factor. And ultimately, you know, you can come in here with your tape measure and say, okay, that's five foot in there, six foot. That's still a little bit low, right? So uh, that's one where I'd come in there, select it, scale it, control click, scale it out, come back while I'm in here, check it. Okay, it's nine feet. That's that's a little bit better, a little better size there and better proportionately. So now they're starting to look a little more like large trees. And if you're ever not sure, you can you can use the, certainly use the uh, tape measure, but it doesn't hurt to just put a person in there and see, okay, does the, do these components look like they're in scale for a, for a human being? And that's really what we're after. I mean, obviously they're gonna be variable sizes, but put a scale figure in there and adjust them accordingly until they fit together. And that's it.